Adding sponsorship events to your toolbox of events may be just the trick to get you to the next level of income and get your nonprofit fully funded. Watch this video and see how to plan and implement a sponsorship event. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey, and this channel is designed to help you raise more money for your nonprofit. Let's get started. If you're like me, you've seen success from direct appeal events, perhaps in the spring or fall, but you believe that you're ready to add a second event to the opposite season but didn't know what to add. Well, sponsorship events may be the answer to your dilemma. A sponsorship event is defined as an event in which volunteers participate in a sport or activity and raise funds from the network of adults, friends, family associates, and acquaintances in the form of commitments, the total amount of which is dependent upon the level of participation of the volunteer in the sport or activity. Examples of sponsorship events include, number one, walker jogathons, where sponsors commit an amount per mile walked or run by a participant. Number two, a bikeathon, where sponsors commit an amount per mile bicycled by a participant. Bowlathon, where sponsors commit an amount per frame bowled by a participant. And number four, golf marathon, where sponsors commit an amount per hole of golf played in one day by a participant. All these are highly effective sponsorship events and you're going to need to determine which would work best for your organization. Here are the keys to implementing a successful sponsorship event. Key number one, planning. Start at least six months in advance. Don't rush it by trying to do too much in too short of time. Set a date, March 15th to May 15th or September 15th to November 15th, our best date ranges. Check for conflicts with schools, holidays, spring break, churches, social gatherings, or other activities in the community. Create a timeline that includes all possible tasks and deadlines. Determine personnel needs. How many people will it take to pull this event off? Establish your budget and cash flow needs. Set realistic goals for attendees and dollars. Think long-term incremental growth and not big, easy, fast results. Get commitments from your board to participate and to get sponsors. Key number two, organization. It's important that your nonprofit provides leadership, vision, and oversight of the event. Provide printed instructions for volunteers and participants. Establish working committees. Some recommended committees include a host committee, program committee, prayer committee if you're faith-based, promotions, food, prize committee, registration committee. It is essential that you get a dove. That's a director of volunteer efforts. This is one of the most important positions you can acquire because they manage volunteers. Key number three, promotion. Consider getting board members or donors to help cover the event expenses. Recruit volunteers to promote your event. Participants agree to secure financial sponsors. Key number four, registration. Make sure that you make the registration simple and easy to do. I recommend using user-friendly event management software. One example is FundEasy. I'll include that, a link to FundEasy in the description below. Key number five, motivation. Work to motivate participants to sign up sponsors. Do what you can to help keep people from procrastinating. Just know that not everyone will come through even if they've promised to do so. Key number six, event coordination. Find an event coordinator who will take real ownership of the event. That means seeing its value and what it means to your organization. It could be a staff member, but a volunteer is almost always the best for a long haul. Key number seven, collecting commitments. There are four possible scenarios. Participants collect commitments at the time sponsors sign up and turn those in the day of the event. Two, participants collect commitments after the event from the sponsors. Three, participants turn in commitments and the nonprofit bills the sponsors. Four, participants give sponsors the option of paying commitments in advance with the remainder being billed by the nonprofit. A minimum amount is received in order to participate. Key number eight, appreciation. Let everyone know how much you appreciate their time spent on the effort, especially volunteers. But don't forget to thank the staff. Oftentimes, their contribution is neglected. Number nine, evaluation. 
it's critical that you evaluate the performance after the event to determine your strengths and weaknesses to see how you can improve for next year. Key number 10, the bottom line. And a fun or other sponsorship event can raise from five to $75,000 or more at a cost not to exceed 25% of the growth. But remember, it's not always the bottom line that's important. Look at public relations and recruitment. They are important as well. A sponsorship event can be the final tool needed for your tool belt, or at least to diversify your portfolio of fundraising activities. Proper planning and preparation are essential to success, and following the success criteria mentioned earlier is imperative. Now's the time to start. What are you waiting for? If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you have fundraising questions, submit them on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java or simply email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.